Hi, welcome. Simon here and I hope you're doing well. In this video, I'll walk you through step by step on how to tear down the HP laptop. And in the process, I'll let you know what are the things that you can upgrade. For example, your RAM, maybe your NVMe SSD drive, maybe to change out the battery, things like that. I'll walk you through along the video while I'm taking it apart and showing you step by step on how to do that. All right. So let's go ahead and identify the model number here. If you flip it around, this is the HP 17 inch CN0023DX. All right. So the first thing you need to do is to remove the rubber. This rubber stopper here has hidden screw underneath. So go ahead and remove the rubber by just lift it up. Same for the bottom part. So this top and bottom you need to remove both of them and get yourself a Phillips screwdriver I'll be using an electric screwdriver here but you can use the regular one if you want let's go ahead and remove all the screws Okay, once you have removed all the screws, the next step is to remove the back cover here. And what I like to do is to maybe start from the side, the corner. And this is the palm rest and the back cover is here. So let's just see if we can pry it open. Try not to dig it too deep because we do not want to damage the internal Part of the computer we just wanted to able to get it uh, enough to pry open the back cover now you can always come back and work around the side and there you have it you just remove the entire um, the back cover here so here is pretty much the full laptop that you're looking at uh, just to do a quick walkthrough with you, you're looking at the speaker here. There's a speaker on both sides, left and right. This is your CPU fan, the heat sink. So the heat goes through the heat pipe using the heat sink and the CPU fan spins and exhausts the hot air away from the computer. Now this is your Wi-Fi card as well as the Bluetooth. This is your laptop battery. These are the DDR4 laptop RAM. If you want to upgrade the RAM, you can just change out the RAM uh, by simply push that two clipper away from each other. Then the RAM would pop up at 45 degree angle and now you can just slide it out. Okay, so DDR4 RAM. And what I'll do is I'll link all the tools and the, dis um, all the, tools and the parts in the description below feel free to click on the link. It will direct you to either Amazon or eBay where you can find a replacement part. All right, let's go ahead and start removing stuff. So the first thing I like to do is to remove the NVMe. This is your C drive. It has all the windows and your data in it. Let's remove the battery. Let's go ahead and start disconnecting some of the cable. So lift that connector up and slide a cable, flex cable down toward yourself at 45 degree angle. And this is actually the, uh, this is the, uh, the LCD connector, okay? Now this is your DC jack adapter. 
slide the connector down. I'm just using my fingernail, tuck underneath the white connector and push it, slide it down towards my body. It says DC, DC in, meaning that this is the DC uh, adapter right there. Remove the screw, remove, slide it to the left and just disconnect the cable. This is the wireless card. Open up the clipper, slide the flex cable to your left. Open the clipper, slide it down. This is your trackpad. Open the clipper, slide the keyboard down. That is for the uh, entire keyboard. And this is the CPU fan uh, connector. Just slide it down. And let's go ahead and start removing the um, CPU fan. Okay, so the CPU fan you just remove. Now what I like to do is to open up the hinge because some of the wire are still stuck in between the hinge and the motherboard. So we need to lift the hinge up. So you want to take your time because I want I want to be able to slide my my plastic prying too and do it this way to pry it up because the hinge is quite um, strong is stiff to, to to push it up so you can just take your time and slightly bend bend it over to open up the hinge. Another way to do it is just lift the screen up, you know, lift it up and then bring it back down. Now you can just flip the hinge upwards at 90 degree angle. All right, so we just gotta make sure that the cable goes above the hinge, like just like so. This is your speaker. Push the speaker connector out, and there you have it. That is the entire speaker. And the other speaker, I believe, it might be running all the way down here. So anyway, uh, let's continue removing some of the screws. I'll be removing the motherboard screws now. Okay, so once you have removed six screws, the entire motherboard will just come right off. And if you want to find a replacement part for the motherboard, maybe you want to look it up this 17N-8L-TGL, or maybe it could be this one here, that is the number of the motherboard. Now let's take a closer look here what you're gonna see. Um, this is pretty much the entire keyboard the trackpad, right? The palm rest. So um, this is the DC jack connector. You can just lift it straight up. And you can just replace the DC jack connector. Okay, now this is another speaker. So the left and right speaker is all connected with one cable right here. 
Now I just wanted to point it out to you. If you have damaged your keyboard, if you spill stuff on the keyboard, right, and the keyboard is not working, and you're trying to replace the keyboard, unfortunately there's no simple way around this. You can't just replace the keyboard itself because the keyboard is punched down by the manufacturer meaning that it is not screwed in where you can remove the screw and get to the keyboard this is punched down meaning that the plastic is um, is settled on top of it you cannot remove the plastic therefore you can't glue it back together so if you have a bad keyboard let's just say you know you spill stuff on a keyboard and you want to change it out unfortunately you would have to change the entire keyboard with the palm rest itself you can't just change the keyboard so they make it in a way that um, that is the only solution you can do because they also make it a way that the power button here it is linked to the keyboard on this part right you can't use external keyboard because you still need the keyboard to press the power to power up the laptop so it is not a separate power button that you can just do it because it's all tied up to the keyboard here. So unfortunate, that would be the case for this laptop. All right, so I hope this video is helpful. If you do find the video helpful, please smash the like button for me. I really appreciate you for smashing the like button. And if you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe to my channel. And if you have any question, comments below, I do read your comments and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Thanks for watching again and I hope this is helpful tutorial. Bye now.